Okay, you saw that video uh, where Timaya was just calling somebody's name. Did you really say anything apart from calling the young man's name? Uh, well, I, I didn't hear. You didn't hear anything. <laughs> it kept going something about some some exclusive matter. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, today we have a different kind of artist of the week. He's an artist. Yes, he spins the wheels of steel. Mm -hmm. I hope I got that right. And also, but he's not the man of steel. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so uh, ladies and gentlemen, viewers at home, join us to welcome the man who spins the wheels of steel, but he's not the man of steel. They call him DJ Exclusive. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> now, how much are you going to pay me for that? <laughs> <laughs> it's good to have you here. Thank you. Thank you. It's a pleasure. So, to be tell here. us, what's it with the wheels of steel? What happened? <laughs> um, with the wheels of steel, funny enough, um, that happened, well, it started in 2003. Mm -hmm. um, before that, I was a banker in a, in a, in a bank, and, um, and I think the Lord just touched my so heart. Say that again, say that again. You were what? I was from, a banker. From banking yes. to it, it's strange. spinning? I'll tell you, the, the funny part, it was from physics to banking, and then... When, when you went to study physics, yes. what was your what, what was my plan, plan did you have? <laughs> <laughs> what did you do for your father? Oh no 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 no! My dad is a doctor. My dad okay. is a doctor. But initially, I wanted to be an engineer because I've always been curious about how things work. So, and at one point, I was a little bit of a geek. So I was always very inquisitive. How did these things work? So that's how the engineering came into physics. And then at a point, uh, I now switched into f uh, finance because I like maths. So, and again, finance at that point, uh, I remember back in university, everybody was being, going to do something with the banks. So I wanted to follow the whole crew and, mm -hmm. you know, enter the bank scene. Got into the bank scene and then somehow the Holy Spirit. <laughs> I, well, the money, the money was okay. It was okay. But the Holy Spirit touched my heart, I have to say. And then somehow the DJing came in. Okay. Somehow it okay. just you, you said your dad is the medical doctor, He's a doctor, Dr. Yes. Dr. Alakija. Yes. Okay. Do you know him? <laughs> I should know him. <laughs> yes, you should. Uh, but he is not born DJ exclusive. He's a rookie of me. Alakija. Alakija. Yes. No, I, I'd like. I wanted to start off with the DJ exclusive. Yeah. Then <laughs> now tell us how your father felt when after spending, you know, the naming ceremony. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Party yeah, and then yeah. they give you a name. Yeah. And then you now go ahead and yeah. change the name. Yeah. How did you find that? <laughs> um, <laughs> first of all, it's you know what's so funny, right? Um, my dad calls me by my name, uh, wrote to me in the house. Then when the guests come to the house, it's like call exclusive. They want to take a picture. <laughs> <laughs> so there's a difference. There's a difference. <laughs> and I wrote to me, you know. But when he found out about the whole DJ, and um, I mean, like a typical parent, uh, you'd be worried, you'd be scared because you're not sure what this really entails and what's going to happen uh, but he was karma because i had already had my degree so he was cool and um the point is i already given him my business plan for the dj in world okay imagine so, if you started with oh, saying you want to be a dj at that point oh uh, no that take me to the village you, <laughs> you gave him a business plan yes so tell us what did your business plan contain all right so first of all the plan was um as a parent and as an individual yourself you're always concerned as to you hope your child will have security. You know, it's not just DJing and one day the club owner says, we're coming no from the club and yes. I say no more, you know. So first thing I did was we got a job at Cool FM 96.9 radio station. Um, so the plan was to get into, because I was in the UK for a bit. So the plan was to leave UK, come back to Nigeria, start working for a radio station. But I didn't just want any radio station. I wanted a very good radio station, a top one. So Cool FM was the first start. Got that one first, and then from then it was now about building the brand, building the brand name. Uh, he knew that I wanted to put out an album as well, um, so I was going to divert not just from DJing but to get into music now. And uh, I had a plan with him that I let him know that it's not just DJing I want to do, it's going to be more than DJing. There are loads of things we want to do, like fashion. Uh, I'm currently working on a fashion line as well, DJ exclusive line. Uh, get into TV presenting as well. I do act as well. So there was a lot of things that I already set on the table to make happen. I can't spill everything here on TV. Mm -hmm. you know, don't, want, <laughs> don't want them to get it, you know. But that was the initial stage of the whole movement anyway. And uh, he was comfortable with it because he knew there was security. 
which was the whole Cool FM as well, the radio sessions. But did you have any encounters that kind of like hindered or slowed down your move towards achieving this yeah. talent? Uh, loads, um, loads. First of all, you always have the negative people, you know, that surround you and tell you, you can't do this. You have the typical, shall I just say, African mindset of, he's a DJ, how much can he make, what's he doing there, blah, 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 you know, but the world is changing. Are you how much DJs make? Mm -hmm. Well, he'll we'll tell us on the floor. I mean, there, there is quite a lot of money in, I believe in anything you do, there's money. It just depends on how well you do it and how you brand it, literally. Um, but for me, I wouldn't necessarily put my price tag on how much I make. Uh, but um, I'm okay. It's good. <laughs> okay. It's good. Okay. Yes, but DJs were invisible, only heard. I mean, yeah. so why why are DJs suddenly coming out to the right. fore now? Uh, some of them are singing, I think. Yes, yes. Um, I think now it's uh, like I said, the world is changing. It's not the world of before. Nowadays, a lot of people are now finding their talents, their passion, and portraying it, going into it. Sorry, if so, I may interrupt. That's that's one of your videos. That's actually my first video. No time. Yeah, no time for Jimmy D, Skills mm. and Telemas. That was done two years ago. Okay. Um, well, memories. That was my first video, my first single. Uh, if I'm right, I have about nine videos out there already. Really? <laughs> yeah, and the album has 21 songs. So, but on the album, I made sure uh, we featured top A-list artists on the album, like Whiskey, David Doty, Wasabi. What were you, were, were no, you're not known to sing. Yeah. So what were you doing the album? Just mixing okay. the beats and now, doing the same? Um, I actually rap, funny enough. Ooh. Yes, I do. I, I do I rap. rap. <laughs> <laughs> I do rap. But I didn't play any rap in. This is just the first stage. What I did is, um, I, I, I sort of, I played the captain of a ship. So in other words, I was the one that picked the artist I wanted to work with. Uh, went into the studio, got my producers. We sat down in the studio, created the beats and then got the artist and I then let the artist know the direction I want to go and that's what I do and then my music I have my sound in my music which is a strictly happy party music that's what it is and then the artists tend to hype me on the song as well because I'm not necessarily singing so okay. the, the hype comes my name and the presence of the, me as well uh, the, that sounds like what Quincy Jones does there you go I like that yes yeah. you know your music <laughs> I, like I, like that. music I like that I like that but yeah. let's look at it what exactly what kind of message are you putting out mm. you, through your music now? Mm. Since you've said that you want to, mm. you don't want to be exclusively DJ, yeah, yeah. but you want yeah. to be DJ exclusive yeah. all around. To be so, in the mix. To be yes. in the mix. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, what's the message you want to put out in your music? Um, the message literally is because I am a DJ for starters. So, it's as a DJ, you're always known to be playing music to make people dance. So, I'm creating music to make people dance. So the message is just literally have fun. I am not doing music to to sort of send uh, a message that, oh, stop the war. I could do that if I wanted to. On the album, there's a nice track that's about reality, about thanking God and all that. But majority of the sound you're hearing is happy music to make people dance. Kids, like the one you just played, the pangolo. I went to a birthday party, I think a five-year-old birthday party, and the child was singing, Bangalore, why into this DJ excuse? And I was like, wow, that was amazing. So it touches certain children as well, um, but it's just to make you dance, literally. Mm -hmm. you just know? to make you happy. Basically. What does one need? What kind of skills does one need to, to become a DJ? A DJ. Oh, hold on, hold on. Which, the, That's Bangalore. Okay, this is Bangalore. Yes. The one that features yes. tomorrow. Okay. Gab and all. But, so what does it take for one to 
be a DJ? What kind of skills? Just in case you ever to become a DJ. Um, I think first of all, you need to have the passion. Uh, if you don't have the passion for uh, what you want to do, you will struggle. Because it is kind of hard, but you need to enjoy it. Um, and second of all, you need to literally practice all the time. Um, it's what I did. I never learnt or had a teacher that taught me how to DJ or go to school for that. I just watched the likes of, uh, did you watch Fresh Prince, mm -hmm. Will Smith, and Jazzy Jeff? Jazzy Jeff is a DJ, so I, you know, I grew up listening to him a lot. So um, you, you have to study a lot of DJs, have a mentor, understand what they do, and understand the music as well. Once you have that and you practice a lot. It's so not who's your mentor? It's Jazzy Jeff. Mm -hmm. Besides the mighty Jimmy Jack. Jazz Jeff, um, because I grew up watching Fresh Prince, and um, and I've, I always loved what he did, you know. So it's something I look up to.